Hi, boys and girls. I almost missed Halloween, so I don't know if you're going to get to see this or not. You might have to see it next week. But here's a book called 10 Creepy Monsters by Carrie F. Armstrong Ellis. <gasps> Whoa, look at these creepy guys. There's a mummy and a green guy and a ghost. Let's see. This is a book for young readers. Ten Creepy Monsters. <gasps> he only has three toes. That's kind of weird. Ten Creepy Monsters Met Neath a Gnarled Pine. They don't look that creepy yet, though, do they? Well, they kind of do, but they're smiling. One blew away, and then there were nine. Nine creepy monsters trudged with lurching gait. One flew away. One lost his foot. And then there were eight. Eight creepy monsters gazed up at heaven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one stopped to howl. Oh! And then there were seven. Seven creepy monsters gathered up sticks. One lit a match. And then there were... And then there were only six. Six creepy monsters. And a lady in a bathing suit. Six creepy monsters donned suits for a dive. One found his love and then there were five. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Five creepy monsters crept through an old door. Wait, let's see. What happened? One snagged his band-aid, which they're going to call a wrap. And then there were four. This is who's left. One, two, three. She's... Four. She's the last one. I almost counted that... That lady looking guy, or that guy looking lady in the frame. There's one, two, three, four. Four creepy monsters with dancing with glee. One stomped too hard, and then there were. Whoa, I'm falling! Then there were three. I didn't read that part. 
three creepy monsters stirred steaming swamp brew. One spilled a bit. And then there were two. It spilled on her and she melted. Oh, I'm melting! Two creepy monsters were still having fun. One saw the sun rise. That's a vampire. And then there was one. One creepy monster rushed home at a run. Look it. The sun's coming up. He pulled up his blanket and then there were none. The end. To my groovy dad who instilled in me a love of B-movies and cool monsters. And that is your little trick-or-treat tale. Bye!